Walmart, there's like 20. So I, I don't know what's going on there with the sales of those. Oh, snap, what do we have right here? What is good everybody today we're going on another wwe action figure toy hunt and we are on the hunt for new monday night wars elite series two for that matter with the build a figure teddy long we're still after the coveted legend series 22 still haven't found them still haven't hit my stores and it is another early morning toy hunt we're always going on our toy hunts very early in the morning it's the best time to hunt man i'm telling you in the middle of the week early in the morning it's the best time to go no buts about it it's not a saturday finally i feel like we've been on a string of multiple saturday toy hunts in a row and it's always very annoying because there's always a lot of people around so going at 5 6 a.m hitting these stores in the middle of the week there's not a lot of people there man and you can actually take your time take a breath i don't have to look over my shoulder like who's looking at me filming which it shouldn't matter in the first place but you know i i, I want to keep it transparent 100 percent. that's chish makes me i have terrible social anxiety when it comes to stuff like that wish i didn't care wish i could just and i'm getting better i guess but Man, doing this for this long and I'm still like, I don't know, always like very timid about it. So I like to go on the early morning toy, I like to go on the early morning toy hunts for that reason. So I don't know if you can relate to that. Let me know down below, but we're going to hit some stores. Hopefully we find some good stuff, but join me on my adventure as we venture out and find out if we can find out the good stuff, man. So I'll see you guys in the car. All right, guys, here we are. Walmart first location. Pretty damn beautiful day outside, man. Look at the sunset coming in. Let's go in here and find some stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. What do we got cooking up today, Brad? We got, okay, we got the Rocky Maivia three-pack legacy stuff. We have another Doink. Looks like they have actually three of these. Wow. Three Doink the Clowns. Looks like we have some Walmart Unrivaled Bucks, Matt, and Matt. So no Nick. I've actually seen where a lot of people are having trouble with that. They keep finding either one or the other. And they can't find both bucks, but a ton of Eddie Kingston's, bless him. And there's a ton up there as well, it looks like. But we also have, looks like another Statlander, two Statlanders. We got three, four. We have four of the Maya, Maya Via Legacy packs. So, yep, that's good. I still have mine without the robe. Still haven't tracked one down, or not tracked one down. I just haven't returned the other one. Why didn't I bring it right now, you dumb idiot moron? But... We do have a Chase Hogan Superstars. We have another Chase. We have a Bam Bam, and we have Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper, another Hogan, not the Chase. Andre the Giant, we have the Chase other Hulk Hogan with the track suit or the body suit. We have another Hot Rod Roddy Piper. What else we got cooking? My lord, man. Just just tear Goku out of the damn package. Look, look at this, man. It's a real problem. It's got to be the same person, too. I guarantee it. We have Bret Hart in the pink. We have Tamina Tamina. To mean it again, Bianca, Bianca, Bianca. We got Shayna, we have Vinci, we got Shayna, and we have another Vinci. Got our Knuckle Crunchers, Roman Reigns. We have another Superstars Hogan, Unpunched. It's actually very crispy, by the way. We have a ton of the Rebound Ring right here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. And at my other Walmart, there's like 20. So I, I don't know what's going on there with the sales of those. Oh, snap, what do we have right here? We got the best of greatest hits or the greatest hits Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan with the correct skin tone. Never seen this in person at retail, so that's a pretty cool find. And they also have Charlotte, so they have one of each. So Charlotte right here. I got this from ringside and I only opened the Hogan. I did not open the Charlotte. I just left the Charlotte Men on card. Just no reason because I already have the other one. It's just a straight up re-release. It's not repainted or anything to my knowledge. So yeah, it's just a standard Charlotte figure, but this is pretty cool to see in person. I'm actually happy to see this. I don't think I'm gonna grab it. I just don't, I mean, I could fix it up, turn it into a Mania 18 Hogan or something like that, but I don't really wanna pay full retail price for this. So don't think I'm gonna do that. Also, these have been here forever. They're really cool, the little plushies, but they don't sell, it doesn't seem like, but you know, the aisle's still pretty clean for the most part. I don't know if you guys know, but usually this aisle is absolutely destroyed, but it doesn't look like it's destroyed right now ever since the reset so it's good i'm gonna go check the clearance section but i had some decent items not anything like groundbreaking it is cool to see some more andres oh snap look at this andre another andre back here oh unpunched but bent to hell hate to see it i'm gonna sit him right here because i don't want to i'm not gonna punch that it's damaged but we'll just leave it right there but anyways i guess we're on to the next one Location number two is Target, man. Did they finally put the damn legends out? Let's find out. All right, fellas, did they put the legends out? Let's find out. 
Oh snap, finally. So here we are, man, finally. We have found Legend Series. Is it 23 now or is it 22? My mind's gone blank. Legend 22, I knew that. Anyway, here's the regular edition of the Hulk Hogan. We have another Hulk Hogan. Do they have the chase? They do not have the chase. They do not have the chase. Oh my God in heaven. They do not have the chase. You hate to see it, but it looks like they have every other figure in the set. We have Captain Lou here. Looking pretty damn good. Love that head sculpt. It took them forever to put these out on the pegs, but they finally have. So it looks like they have every figure in the set. No Chase Hogan, though. We do have Muhammad Ali. God, I don't want to pay full price for this. Makes me vomit. We got Top Picks John Cena. That's pretty random. We have Ultimate Yoko. Got another Muhammad Ali. Another Muhammad Ali. We have Trish. Chilling forever. Captain Lou. Captain Lou. We have the Sultan. Got three of those or four of those. I can't believe they don't have the Degum Chase. That stinks. But I'm sure they probably have one in the bag. But I think it said they had six in stock or something. But none are on the pegs. But finally finding these. Love this packaging. It's the best packaging ever. I remember it. I mean, it was WrestleMania 39 when they showed the mock ups of this packaging when we were at the Mattel Design Center. And this is just glorious packaging. We are some of the, we're getting some of the best packaging we've ever seen. Between this. The From the Vault series, the, I wouldn't say the main elite line. I think the main elite line's kind of trash. Like, that's kind of trash packaging. But the uh, Ninja Turtles Target exclusive wave also looks amazing. But finally found these. Took them forever to put them on the pegs. Excited that they finally have them out. I'm going to pick out all the ones with decent paint apps. And I guess we are finally going to grab them. We also have four of the Danielsons, which is a good figure. Solid figure. Just don't need it. You know, already have it. Didn't review it on the channel, but we do have it. But finally, this, God, got a, got a loose hand in there, but I'm just so damn happy to finally see these. They took them forever to put these on the pegs, but they have finally done so. So I guess I can stop complaining. Unless, uh, I guess I'll walk around a minute because I don't think anybody's going to buy those, but let's walk around here and see if they have anything else worth a shish. We got a couple Iron Men. We have... Some Doc Oz. These have been here forever. If they put those on clearance, I'll probably grab another one. I already have one, but definitely want to grab another one, possibly. Um, pretty bare. Like, literally no Legends besides those two. And then, I don't really collect anything else, I don't think. But I'm going to go over to the NECA section, and then I'll come back and get the Legends, I guess. Well, the NECA section had nothing. I didn't want to film it, so we're moving on. But let's go and uh, grab these Legends, and I'm getting the hell up out of here. All right, fellas, finally back home after our toy hunt, and we pretty much just grabbed exactly what we talked about in the store. We have the Sultan here. A just it, can I describe? I, I how many times I went to my Target for probably two or three weeks in a row. I'd say two or three times a week trying to find these. Back when they had the Yokozuna Ultimate, whatever toy hunt that was, that is when they actually had these in the back. I checked the, you know, the Brick Seek or the Target app. It said they were in stock, and then I went, and all they had was Yoko on the pegs. Well, then, you know, I, I didn't want to ask around and be like, hey, can you get this full wave out of the back? So I was like, you know what? I'm not that just desperately wanting these figures so bad that I'm going to ask them to pull them from the back. So I'll just keep coming back and coming back until they finally put them on the pegs. Well, I thought it would be, you know, a couple days or a week or, and then it just kept in, you know, turned into two weeks, turned into three weeks. And then finally, they have finally put these guys out. So I was finally happy to finally find the right time to cash in and finally get Captain Lou. We got the Sultan. We finally have the full wave here. Now, I did not like and I did not appreciate having to buy $102. I think it was 103 bucks for all four figures, which makes me physically ill to think about because I guarantee these guys are going to be on clearance for 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 bucks in the coming weeks or the month and it's going to make me sad because I like I wanted Captain Lou, I wanted the Sultan, but the Muhammad Ali I really wasn't that intrigued with, but I did want to do a full review of the wave. I wanted to review the full set, so I, I figured I needed to go ahead and just get the full wave. It is what it is, but the last figure we have is going to be the Hulk Hogan, and it's not my favorite figure of all time either, but it is another cool figure, you know, and I think it looks pretty good. It, no chase this time around, which I guess helped my wallet for a period of days, I guess, but we'll take it. We'll take the Hulk Hogan. Still love this packaging. So damn nice, but... Yeah, now we're waiting on Legend Series 23, but we did grab the full entire Legend set there, and that is nice. I did want to show off a couple other things that we picked up, though, over the last few weeks. I did grab a few things. I got a few of, and I think I have one more. I bought four of the Elite 109 Seth Rollins figure, 
because it's an updated formula and it's not a black attire. I know it's a gold attire, which we always talk about, but to have extra parts for these, you know, all of my Rollins that I have right now are all the old formula, you know, and I was like, you know what, to get these for a really good price, I got them for a really, really good price. Now, none of them came with the championship, which is fine with me, didn't really need the championship, so I will take you know, you know, more Rollins, more Rollins for customs fix up surgery things. And then we also grabbed a running change of the new Elite 109 Cody. And you will see here that this one has the Muhammad Ali legs or the Mr. Perfect legs. So if you wanted to check out the difference, there is the normal legs. And then these have the old build of figure legs with all the different lines in the crotch. So that was a cool figure to track down and get another one of those. And then we do have our From the Vault series here ultimate cody and then i did pick up another top picks that's from our last toy hunt i think was this top picks cody but then i also grabbed this seth rollins basic now i did remove the head sculpt for something else that you may see down the line but i have that seth rollins basic in the in the suit right there and then i have another thing and that is going to be the defining moments cody Rhodes with a torn pack they put them in stock at ringside collectibles and i went ahead and picked up another one i think it was 49.99 or something and that seemed like too good of a deal to pass up because the figure has been selling out quickly it's been going for 80 90 bucks and it wanted a second one i do have another one over there that was mint on card i'm gonna leave that mint on card i love that figure enough to keep it mint on card and i'm not really a mint on card elite guy but i will keep that mint on card and then i have my loose version here that we're going to turn into a non-torn pet cody and then we have our regular edition that does have the torn pack so all things coming full circle we got a nice cool setup. I put this in a short yesterday if you guys missed it. We have suited Cody in the GM's office. And, you know, I showed off his portrait over here. If you guys missed this short explaining how you can do this, I have portrait Cody here. Could probably hang that over the hole there, but that's not uh, that's not part of the lore. I just want I had the parts laying around and the idea kind of hit me. So I said, you know what, let's make this into a thing. But nonetheless, man, I think that pretty much wraps up our toy hunt. But yeah, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of everything down in the comments section below, what your recent pickups are and all those different things, man. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all those fellas, man. Thank you guys so very much for all that you guys do on a daily basis for me. But that is going to wrap everything, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.